In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ClickSense. So if you're new to data analytics or looking for a powerful tool to visualize data and gain insights, ClickSense is a fantastic choice. So it's designed to help you explore and analyze data interactively. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to navigate ClickSense, create visualizations, and generate data insights. So let's get started. So first, what is ClickSense? So ClickSense is a business intelligence and data visualization tool that enables users to gather, analyze, and share insights from their data. So it's known for its user-friendly interface and self-service capabilities, allowing users of any skill level to create powerful dashboards and reports without extensive technical expertise. With ClickSense, you can combine data from multiple sources and create interactive visualizations to gain actionable insights. So now let's proceed on the dashboard. So when you uh, start creating your account and you're finished creating your account, you will now be greeted by this dashboard and a pop-up menu that says, welcome to Click Cloud." So you need to answer what is your main goal for trying out Click Cloud. So I'm just going to select Consume Analytics and Reporting and click on Next. So what role best describes you? So I'm just going to select Business Manager, Project Manager and click Next. So are you familiar with using Click? So just say I'm new to Click. But to avoid all of those uh, pop-up tutorials, I'm just going to select I'm familiar with Click Cloud and click on Done. And now this is how our dashboard will look like. So the first here is getting started. Of course, if you want to get to know Click better, you need to do all of these simple steps first. So you need to start with data, invite users, and they have more resources right here. So before that, let's just scroll down. So as you can see, we have the consume analytics right here. Uh, they have videos, two minute videos, one minute, three minute videos to on how to interact with charts, how to monitor charts, how to do email reports, and how do I customize Click Cloud Home, so on. So you can simply watch that to get started. Also here, create dashboard. So there's no available content yet. So content that you have access to be will be shown here. So examples of the types of content are charts, apps, data, or links. And here in the bottom are their demo apps. So now here in the left hand side, you will see different sections such as home. So you can see, welcome back to Click Cloud, click on done. So this should be your home page. You will see all of the recently used content right here. You'll also see apps to explore right here and your monitor charts. Next is create. So as you can see right here, you can either create analytics app, automation, data connection, script, and favorites. You will see all of your favorite creations and collections. Of course, this is just a section. So let's say you already created uh, an analytics app and you can add them to your collection. So you will see it right here. Next is catalog. So you will see catalogs right here. Next is automations. So still not loading, so we don't have this uh, feature yet. Just wait for it to load. So as you can see, you don't have any automations yet. You can see the runs to metrics and connections. And next is alerts, subscriptions, and of course, getting started. So first, I recommend you head over here to getting started first. So click here on start with data. As you can see, you can upload a data file or register external data or establish a new data connection. I'm just going to select data connection. Now from here, let's just select your personal space. We can also search for data connectors, as you can see right here. So for me, I'm just going to uh, use um, Google uh, Drive and spreadsheets. Now you need to, uh, uh, when you check this, you will see the credentials. Now cl simply click on authenticate and sign in with your Google account. Click on continue. 
And this should be my authentication code. I'm just going to copy it, paste the code here, verify. So again, I'm just going to copy it again, verify. So something is wrong right here. Hold on. So now I already authenticated it. So just simply click on create. And now my data connection was created successfully. Now let's just refresh the page. Now you can uh, again, the connection. So that's all it is to it when uh, creating data connections. So now you have uh, connected your Google Drive and spreadsheets and your click analytics. So now let's proceed on creating. So as you can see, the recommended here are analytics app, automation, data connection, and script. So let's just select analytics app. So I'm just going to type in test, test, and create. Now from here, you want to get started adding data to your app. So let's say data catalog or files and other sources. So I'm just going to access the data that's available to me, which is the data catalog. So if you have added data, you can see it right here. But in my case, I haven't connected any yet for uh, analytics app. So let's try here in data load editor. So. So from here, it's a bit of coding. So I don't have any knowledge on coding yet, but you can search a bunch of different videos on their help. So let's just go back. So let's try creating automations. As you can see, click on add right here. Learn more. These are the automations. So when you create automations, they have a bunch of different templates to start with. So we can create blank automation and create here, as you can see, update a variable with data from a URL, notify your team on Microsoft Teams based on measure. So let's try and select this template. Just going to refresh. Or this, reload an app and notify your team on Slack. Let's use this template, details, use template. So an error occurred when creating the automation. So we need this required connectors. So you need click cloud services. So it's this, and you need to connect your Slack. Again, you wanna go back here and getting started, start with data, data connection, and let's search for Slack. As you can see, Slack is available right here. So before you can create apps right here, such as analytics app, automation, data connection, you need to make sure, as you can see here on Microsoft Teams, you need to use or connect your Microsoft Teams first. So if you wanna use this, notify your team on Slack. Also, you need to connect your Slack account first. So uh, you'll see a bunch of different uh, features and options right here to create, and of course, it still depends on you. Just go back here on getting started, watch the videos see, uh, provided right here, and simply explore more about Click's feature. So that's basically all about it in this video. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.